today is like uh, relatively different from how average work day looks like at Inmobi because we are having people from different companies and also some students which are very very enthusiastic. On a daily basis we interact with a lot of Inmobians and we know in and out about what other things are happening but the moment you invite somebody from outside world you get a little fresh perspective and you know things about them and you understand the ecosystem all about. Our objective in this hackathon as always has been to basically give the best 24 hour experience for the people who will participate and the for us as well. This time by including people from outside, I think we have a pretty widespread 360 degree overview of what can be done in social, mobile and analytics. The ideas uh, that have been coming up are really really cool and uh, there's a really good balance among the areas in which you know people are proposing the ideas. So uh, we have seen uh, at least three or four people coming up with hardware hacks. The first time I think there are six NGO entries that have come. It's like the best combination of hack, eat, sleep, repeat. At Inmobi, uh, the experience is great and really entertaining. People from all over the industry are here. We are basically college students. It's like a big, big thing for us. We've been to a lot of hacks and you know, the thing that I found different here is that uh, Bean Movie Hack is held right inside their own campus. Um, there are a lot of you know, mentors around and a lot of people to talk to. And plus, uh, being here in Bean Movie Campus, it's, it's really nice. It's a, it has a different feel to it. I think the ambience is beautiful over here. It's so energetic and so colourful and so lively. You feel like working. And Bean Movie is like our dream job now. <laughs> <laughs> After seeing the campus, the food. This ambience is usually what's missing in a hackathon, even if uh, there are 10 teams. So managing this scale, managing this thing so efficiently, that's, I would say, the best thing about this hackathon so far. And hack masters uh, that we chose this time were phenomenal. It's not just saying yes or no, but it's helping them achieve what they're trying to do. They've actually given us quite a few suggestions that have improved what a hack is. We actually got to interact with how they work and what's the technologies that are used. So it was a good learning experience, we built a, we built a good product at the end. We called Ugesh Sarkar, one of the uh, you know, first street magician in India, to come and hack the mind of the hacker. So I think it was uh, pretty well received by the people. It was very different, very different. When people finish their dinner, generally they go to sleep and you know they start to lose energy. So that's uh, when we basically introduced this casino event where people played poker. And this time I think people played all the way until 1.30 and I was here. Uh, even at 2 a.m. and the energy was almost as good as it was uh, when the hackathon started. The scene and I was amazing, though we lost all our money. The primary thing I'm looking at is how efficiently can somebody turn their ideas into a final product. It's the execution that matters. If you are able to convert that uh, one workflow into an actual working prototype, that is, in my opinion, that is the most important thing. Because we had 24 hour constraints, so we had the basic workflow done, but not completely. I think ideas are nothing if they're not executed properly. What's important for me is what's next. So if somebody builds an app here, are they going to take it to the next level after they leave the hackathon, or is it just going to be one hackathon idea and remain there? I'm also very thrilled about the uh, jury that we have selected this time. Very, very well balanced and uh, very overall, uh, you know, good uh, jury that we have. We go to a lot of hacks and we have won a lot of hackathons and we really hope that there's something good we come out of this hackathon. I hope that we have succeeded in uh, providing them the atmosphere where they can really enjoy and not only go to some really kick ass project that they are working on. And, you know, the way we have planned things that you know they can really enjoy all 24 hours and they remember it and wait for the next event. Looking forward to more hackathons from you.